Now, Hamish has gone on his holidays too. Not with Mike, though, apparently. But <laughs> when he was here last week, we managed to record a little segment with him on a great space-saving bed. Take a look. Well, it's home design time, and Hamish is here to show us a range of revolutionary furniture that is both multi-purpose and space-saving at the same time. Morning, Hamish. Good morning. Isn't it so nice to be here without Mike? Oh, <laughs> oh it's a bit too soon for I that, know, isn't it? I know, it's a bit too soon. No, it's but... not, actually. It's <laughs> <laughs> OK, so um, I crocked along uh, to see some friends of mine at a company called Hidden Bed, mm -hmm. and uh, they make the beds that fold down from the walls. I've used them a few times uh, on my clients, and uh, so I thought I'd share a bit about them today, and they even showed me uh, how one got installed. OK, so... Hidden bed. Obviously, it's all about a bed that is hidden. Can yeah. you explain a little bit more? Okay, uh, picture if you, you will. Uh, Mike's spare room never gets used. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's... Oh, we're really harsh on Mike, aren't we? Well, well, no, no, I, it was in the script. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Blame it on that. No, so uh, you've got a spare room. The, the guest room often isn't used, Mel. Yeah. And uh, what I love is when I go into a house, you know, there's a nice uh, bed. Uh, maybe there's an old exercise cycle, someone's put a mini tramp underneath it, I don't know. boxes of books. Yeah, yeah, stuff that shouldn't be there. And then uh, there's no office, so they've got the dining room table, the kitchen bench, um, and anyone else they're trying to work at. I say no. Mm -hmm. um, how about you transform it into an office as well, which you can cool. do with the hidden bed. So not just hiding beds, they're giving you a working space as well? They're giving you a working space. And you think about it, people often say to me, oh, OK, we need to add some space on, we're going to um, add a room on to mm. build an office. Uh, or they decide they're going to build some pop-up thing in the backyard, which is where they're going to work from. Well, um, I say no. Make the use of the, uh, the spare room or any other room that's not really been used. Put in the hidden bed desk bed. Uh, and uh, probably for the price of what you're going to pay in council fees to do an addition, you've got a multi-purpose space. Ah, so let's go through the range then, shall we? Show uh, me what you got. OK, we've got some pictures, so we're going to have a look at these pictures now. Now, the first one uh, is the hidden bed. Now, I love this one. This is going to transform from a desk to a bed, so you can have wow. it set up as a desk during the day. The great thing about it is when this shifts, not only does it give you a comfortable bed, and to be fair, that is the key, you want a yep. comfortable bed, yeah. but you can move it down. <clears throat> the cool thing is you can have a glass of water under there and it doesn't shift. No so you, way. No, you leave everything set up, fold it down, and away you go. The next one we're going to have a look at, I like a bunk bed. Beds. Oh yeah, okay. How cool is this? So for your children, you've got your workspace, which is your desk underneath. You can, they can have their laptop these days, very fashionable. Yep. My day was a slide rule, I think. Yeah. <laughs> uh, child can sleep up the top, really straightforward, fold it down when a friend comes over to stay, and you've automatically got a second bed in the room, which is really, really cool. And to be fair, I think you could probably um, you know, even use this for the teens. They'd like that sort of thing. That is really cool because quite often you don't need that second bed Unless you've got a friend staying. Well, no, that's right. And I'm always sitting there going, the crikey dickens, time to drag out the uh, mattress yeah, or blow up the, blow up the bed. And, mm -hmm. and the vacuum thingies don't go in reverse. No. So I'm always going, yeah. <laughs> always terrible. OK, last one we've got to have a look at is the wall bed. Now, the wall bed is sensational. I love this. This is out and out storage areas. It's a bed that folds down. It looks like a storage cabinet. Look at that. I love is it, it a bed? With a is it a cabinet? It is. But here's the cool bit. This is a proper bed. So this has proper sprung timber slats underneath it, a proper Sealy mattress. It wow. is designed to be compact, elegant, classy, contemporary, yet comfortable. Gosh, that's amazing. So this would be really good if you lived somewhere where people were always wanting to visit and you needed to have that extra yeah, that or bed. Yeah, or maybe you've got a one-bedroom apartment and you could have it set up in, in your lounge area. Or, yeah. you know, once again, you don't need a, an office at home, but you could have that as a section that folds down. I mean, th this is the only one on the New Zealand market. I mean, there's a competitor out there, but they use an MDF base. I mean, what are you going to want at the end of the day? Yeah. That's, you want that's, comfort that's, when you sleep. So, yeah, you really do. You really do. That is super cool. That'd be a really good idea, too, for the batch or something, too, wouldn't it? It would be great for a batch, actually. It's a really good idea. Hmm. I know. I'm going to show you a video now. Okay. Because this is how easy they are to have installed and how they work. And it's going to show you how good the mechanism is. Okay. Uh, something to remember here, which I truly love and uh, works well for people like me, is they have a nationwide installation service. Great. So, so you, that, you, someone comes and does it for you. Someone comes yeah. and does the whole lot for you. Um, you see there, that's the lifting mechanism. That's a patented design. One of the amazing things about these is that um, uh, Peter, uh, Pete Algy, yeah. I was going to call him Peter, but Pete Algie sounds nicer, doesn't it? Mm. He is an incredibly talented joiner. He's designed it. He owns the company. 
and all the products that go into it are locally sourced. So you're buying a New Zealand made product, so you're getting quality with it. Look that at is that. great. The desk stays there. This guy um, it had his cushions and pillows up on top. You don't actually need to do that. You can have them all set up and lying on the bed. So when it falls down, it's uh, instant bedroom. That is super cool. And also, you're right, you do want a good quality product, that sort of thing. You don't want to sort of it's skimp anywhere. It's a bed. I have slept on the worst fold out couches in history oh, where yeah. there seems to be a metal piece that sticks up in the always middle. Always into the middle of your back. It's yeah. always the metal piece. Speaking of cool, uh, they actually supplied them to Scott Base as well. Did they? That's yeah. so cool. I like that. Hamish, you've come in with some quality products and I'm very happy to see you. Thank you very much. And uh, these would be perfect too for all of my three boys' rooms. Just quietly, if you just putting that one out there. And we're constantly having to move furniture around when their mates come to stay and it's very, very annoying. And as we said, can't blow up the mattress properly. You can never find the right things or they've got a hole in them because they jump on them. Now to find out more about hidden beds, you can call 0800 40 40 90 or head to hiddenbed.co.nz. I'm going to be doing that right now. What a fantastic solution. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. And Hamish will be back next week. <laughs>